What's up guys, welcome back. Today I decided to talk about seven products every girl needs in their makeup bag. Because I think that when you're starting off, it may be a bit intimidating nowadays because there are so many products out there. You know, it could be a little confusing. Like what exactly do you need for your first makeup bag? Or if you love makeup and you wanna just downsize and have a makeup bag that will just be filled with all the necessities that you need for every single day to create like a very fresh and everyday makeup look, um, I think that you'll find this video helpful as well. So I'm gonna share those products with you guys and also show you how to create this everyday fresh makeup tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a subscribe button under this video. You can click that, subscribe, so that you don't miss my videos. I do upload two brand new videos every week for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I get started, I also wanna say that I have a blog post on this specific topic because I think it's really important and I do have that a little bit more organized in categories. So if you want to find out exactly what my favorite foundations are or what my favorite bronzers are, check that blog post. It's going to be on simplysona.com. The link will be down in the description box. So yeah, check that out for more of an in-depth product recommendation. So the first category is going to be your base. So that is going to be either a foundation, a tinted moisturizer, a BB cream, or a CC cream. And it all depends on what kind of coverage you're looking for. For. So if you're one that likes a really heavy coverage every day, if you've got blemishes, if you want to cover things, then you want to go for a foundation. If you want something a little bit more soft and subtle, I totally recommend a tinted moisturizer, something that already has sunscreen built in because it's going to give you the most natural finish. So for today's look, I'm using the Lancome Cushion Foundation and this is the Miracle Cushion in number 360. I like to just apply this all over my skin until it's nice and even. Next, you're gonna need a concealer. I personally recommend a brightening concealer because this not only conceals your dark circles, but it also highlights. Now, if you do have dark circles, you might have to correct first with a salmon color corrector, then of course go over it with a concealer. But if you don't have dark circles, you just need one product, apply that under your eyes, and then of course the center of your face, and then you wanna blend it in place. So this is going to conceal and highlight at the same time. So today I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. So next you're gonna want something to set everything in place. So of course your base looks beautiful, but you do want this to last all day. And for that, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a powder. So I recommend either a translucent powder, and this is a translucent setting powder by Makeup Forever, and it's their HD translucent powder, or something a little bit more pressed. So today I use the Lorac um, Perfection Baked Powder, but like I said, you can really use whichever one kind of works best. So if you want something a little bit more lightweight, I totally recommend the Translucent Powder. And again, the blog post will have more options and recommendations. But basically you want the powder to go under your eyes and then the center of your skin. So this is just gonna make sure that if you do get shiny, this area of your skin is gonna stay nice and matte for the most part. You might have to touch it up throughout the day, but um, it's something that will help the shine and also help the foundation stay on longer. All right, next you're gonna need a bronzer and I think this is my favorite part because it does so many different things. So obviously a bronzer is used mainly to really carve out your features, to contour, but I also like it because it gives your skin a beautiful sun-kissed glow. You can use it more as a blush, you can use it to carve out your crease on your eyes. So it just really depends on what you're looking to achieve. So with this today, I went ahead and used it on the hollows of my cheeks, I used it as blush, and I also used it as eyeshadow just on my crease to kind of open up my eye. I do talk about this a lot on my channel, but if you have a heavy fold, using some sort of a soft brown on the crease does a does wonders, I think. It just really opens up the eye. So today to minimize product, I went ahead and used my bronzer on the eyes. So today I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Next, you're gonna need some sort of a brow product. And I recommend something in this form, so a powder form versus a pencil form because I feel like this can be more versatile. You can also use this as your eyeliner to kind of you know, define the lash line, which is what I did today. So what I use this for today is to fill in my sparse areas, make my brows just a little bit sharper, and of course, um, used it on the outer corners of my eyes, both on top and bottom, to define my lash line. So today I used the Kelly Baker Brow Powder in brown, um, and it's just a really pretty color. 
Okay, the obvious, right? Every girl needs mascara. I totally think every girl needs mascara. Even if you have really short lashes, don't worry. You might need to invest in an um, eyelash curler and curl your lashes first and then coat it with several, several coats of mascara. I think mascara does wonders because it opens up the eye. It just really completes the look for me. So mascara is an absolute must have and I do like to apply it both on top and bottom of my lashes. So the mascara that I use today is by L'Oreal Paris and it is the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's one of my absolute favorite drugstore mascaras. Lastly, you're gonna need some sort of a lip product to complete the look and it really depends on your personality. So if you like something a little bit more soft and subtle, I would recommend either a lip balm or some sort of a very natural gloss. So today I used the Honest Beauty Lip Gloss and Generous Kiss and this is an Ulta Beauty exclusive, I believe. And it's just a really pretty color, lightweight, beautiful. But again, it just depends on what you like and what fits your personality. So if you like a little more color, then I recommend stains because stains will last you all day. It's really beautiful. It adds such a nice color to your lips. If you like something a little bit more out there, then you can use a lipstick, you know, something more opaque. It just really depends on what you feel most comfortable and confident in. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope your makeup bag is complete with just the items you absolutely need to achieve a very fresh and youthful look every day. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already before you head out. Again, I upload twice a week, so two new videos uh, coming your way every week. So other than that, I love you guys so much. Mwah! I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Please. So then, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna need some sort of a brow product, blah, 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 blah. you know, open effect. Am I trying to say that? And that is with, I can't speak today. Let's try that again.